Hi, I'm Jeffrey Dungan, co-founder and CEO of Really Active. As of mid-March 2020, you're likely aware of the global impact of the COVID-19 pandemic, if not directly affected by it yourself in some way. I hope that you and those close to you are well, and that this video serves as an interesting way to pass the time learning about how real-time location and physical search technologies, like the ones we develop as open source at Really Active, can be applied to positive effect in a situation like the one in which we together find ourselves. The baseline use case. How are people occupying physical spaces? It doesn't matter what type of space. As long as there are people passing through and or spending time, the smart devices that they carry are creating ambient wireless packet traffic. By analyzing the number of devices and where they are detected over time, as captured by radio infrastructure in the space, it's easy to see trends such as what areas receive the most or least foot traffic. For instance, this is what you might expect to see in an office setting. When is the occupancy highest and lowest? For instance, this is New Year's Eve gathering spike in a public space. Where do people spend the most or least time? For instance, these are different ways to visualize pedestrian traffic at an event. To maximize social distancing while engaging in essential activities such as work or purchasing food, knowing when and where occupancy is lowest facilitates planning and has a reassuring effect. To optimize the use of resources to sterilize high-touch spaces in transit and healthcare, knowing which areas receive the most foot traffic and when facilitates scheduling and oversight. This leads to a second use case, personnel tracking. When personnel carry or wear an inexpensive Bluetooth badge or wearable, they become uniquely identifiable as they occupy these same physical spaces. So in the case where staff are directed to clean and sterilize high traffic areas, it's possible to automatically confirm that they visited the target spaces and, more importantly, to detect and correct any omissions. In the case where a real-time response is necessary, it's possible to know which qualified individual or individuals are the closest by. This leads to a third use case, asset tracking. Personnel may need equipment to respond to an incident. In the case of maintenance, this may be a specific tool for cleaning or sterilization. In the case of healthcare, this may be a respirator, wheelchair, or gurney. Such equipment can be uniquely identified and located in real time by the same infrastructure provided the asset has an inexpensive Bluetooth beacon affixed. And as a result, it's possible to instantly and confidently answer questions like, where is the nearest wheelchair? And how many gurneys are there on the floor right now? This leads to a fourth use case, environmental sensing. Of course, finding the closest asset is of little consequence if it's already in use. And this is where the capacity to sense factors such as temperature and acceleration add critical context. In the case of a wheelchair or a gurney, the same Bluetooth beacon used for asset tracking might also sense and detect if it is in motion, and temperature trends can suggest the presence of an occupant. Similarly, an accelerometer beacon affixed to a door or turnstile can anonymously detect the passage of individuals, providing a complementary means to identify high traffic areas. This leads to a fifth use case, interaction detection. Who interacted with whom? Who interacted with what? When? In the case of COVID-19, those are perhaps the most pertinent questions for traceability. And by using a specially programmed Bluetooth beacon, what we call Direct, it is indeed possible to answer these questions. Coincidentally, interactions among staff members and with patient beds are currently being observed in the LA County Hospital as part of an unrelated trial by our clients at USC. We're all curious to see the impact of the pandemic in the data that they collect. In summary, I hope this video has highlighted meaningful and tangible applications of real-time location and physical search technologies and helped you to imagine how their potential extends far beyond the current situation which unites us. And as someone who thinks a lot about location, I hope you're watching this from the place you'd most want to be right now. Stay healthy and owl the best.